Hey, this is Jeremy with Easy Logistics Management. Um, one of the other terms that gets a lot of search is on cross-docking warehouses. Um, so I wanted to cover, well, you know, what cross-docking warehouses are in the warehousing and fulfillment industry and possible reasons that you would want to look into using a cross-dock warehouse and potential cost-saving benefits of utilizing warehouses to do cross-docking for you. So. Um, we have a nationwide network of warehouse and fulfillment centers that our clients can use, and cross-docking is one of the activities that, especially the port warehouses, um, facilitate on more of an ongoing basis for some of our clients, especially for international import clients. Um, this seems to be key. But uh, um, I came up with about seven different reasons you would want to use a cross-dock warehouse. So number one, um, if your company has no local location to the port or close to your manufacturer, you might want to use a cross-docking warehouse um, to uh, transload and ship your material to you. Um, number two, I think cross-docking can be much cheaper than drayage transportation, which would be just taking the import containers, putting them on a a truck chassis and driving them to your warehouse location because then you have to pay to return the the import container as well so that can really add up so it's probably much more cost advantageous to cross dock uh, your import containers and ship them to you on a regular 53 foot big rig uh, number three traditionally you're just devanning the import container or the manufacturing container into a full truckload pallet by pallet but you can do it in a, in a variety of different ways and then shipping that traditional 53 foot big rig truck to your um, final destination or warehouse. Uh, number four, cross stocking through a warehouse can provide you flexibility of where to ship the commodities. Um, traditionally, it would probably go to your headquarters or main warehouse, but uh, it can also be broken out and consolidated to ship to those regional clients, depending on your arrangement with the warehouse. I know our warehouses can do things like that. Um, there may be a difference in cost, but certainly um, it can be cost advantageous. Uh, number five, the orders can be sent out in a variety of modes, full truckload, less than truckload freight, or even ground or overnight parcel and consolidated in different ways. It just depends on your arrangement and the costing on how you consolidate those orders and ship them. So um, that can allow you a lot of flexibility um, as opposed to just transloading and shipping to your warehouse, wherever that may be. Um, number six, uh, Generally, cross docking, in my opinion, is full pallets, full pallets or full boxes off the import container and then cross docked across the warehouse into a uh, full truckload shipment on the other side. But it can be done in a variety of ways. It just depends on your arrangement with the warehouse. Uh, number seven, and this may tie into number four, just the ability to ship to regional clients first and then transload the bulk of the material to be sent to your headquarters. So uh, if you're bringing it in into the port of Long Beach and your headquarters is, let's say, in um, Tennessee, um, and, but yet you have a lot of orders and clients on the West Coast, um, cross-docking can allow you, depending on the warehouse you choose, to consolidate and ship those orders to your West Coast clients straight from the warehouse in the import container and then send the rest of it, um, the rest of the material to your warehouse for later replenishment or whatever you need it for. So those are some of the reasons you would want to use a cross stocking warehouse in my opinion. Um, if you have other suggestions, you can leave them in, in the comments below and I can kind of try and address them in later videos. Um, this list is by no means ex exhaustive, but these were some of the ideas that came to my mind having dealt in warehousing for, um, 15 years or so. Uh, and then maybe the why you would want to use a crosstalk warehouse. What cost savings benefits would there be for your supply chain arrangement and logistics setup? So I, number one, I think it's, it's cheaper than dr paying for drayage directly to your um, headquarters. Um, so instead of running it with the import container and then having to return the import container to the port, which is really pretty expensive in most cases, you can transload it onto a traditional full truckload and then run it um, one way. Uh, number two, um, loads can be consolidated in different ways and shipped out full truckload, LTL or FedEx or UPS ground. Again, something we covered here, but definitely that can save you a lot of money if you're 
Um, not having to ship everything to your warehouse and then ship it back out if we can parcel out the loads and ship them direct to, to your customers or wholesale accounts from the warehouse. You can save that can bring a substantial cost savings. Number three, um, ship to your end customer if needed. Again, it's kind of the same thing, but uh, I mean, it does definitely offer uh, efficiency and cost saving benefits because you're not having to reship all that material. And then number four, um, and to my point, you're not having to reship. You're not having to receive and then reship the material back cross country to your end customer. So, um, just using the flexibility of a warehouse and fulfillment center that can provide uh, cross docking activities at the warehouse level. Um, there's just a whole variety of cost savings and efficiencies and just more flexibility of what you can and can't do without just sending everything to your warehouse and then shipping it all back out again, um, which is inherently costly. So um, if you'd like to explore some of these ideas and if cross docking and using a warehouse and fulfillment center is a good idea for your company, I'd be happy to drill into your supply chain and see what cost savings we can bring to the table. Currently we have uh, our primary warehouses are in Los Angeles. Uh, Carlton, Texas, Utah, New Jersey, and then we also have a facility in the Kansas City, Missouri area. So um, if any of those locations work for you, we can perform cross docking or any warehouse and fulfillment activities uh, out of those geographic uh, locations. And I like to think that that's a one to two day transit time from pretty much anywhere you would want to ship to in the continental US. So um, I can be reached at 866 854 5341 extension 3. Um, it's my company. We're looking to grow and we'd be honored to work with you. So uh, don't hesitate to give me a call. I will shoot you in the right direction for sure. Um, or if you want to email me, it's jeremy at easylogisticsmanagement.com. Make it a great week and I hope to talk to you soon.